Hey, this is Brent, AKA Ask for Brent, your favorite Lexus professional. And I've been working with Lexus since, since March of 2021. And I've been having a great time doing it. And today I'm gonna to be sharing my story with you. So before I started working for Lexus, I was actually at a, a very well-known company by the name of Robert Half. I was a recruiter and I started there after separating from the Coast Guard. I was in the Coast Guard for 12 years, which is an entirely different backstory, but I was at Robert Half for two years. Um, we, went, we just went through COVID and the market is just starting to come back where people are starting to hire again and I'm starting to capture some momentum and everything's going well. And then I just on an off day, I'm watching this show called Undercover Billionaire. And this one was starring Glenn Stearns as they have a couple of seasons at the time of this recording. Uh, this one had Glenn Stearns and he's flipping cars so he can buy a house. And he's trying to flip the house so he can buy his business if you have any idea about the show. And if not, it's a great show to check out. But, um, so I thought, hey, great idea. If Glenn Stearns, this billionaire, decided that his path to wealth and creating this new business was flipping cars to start. Maybe that's what I should do as well. So I just started to collect data. Like, what does it take? What does it take to flip cars? Like, who's my buyer? Okay, well maybe the dealerships, in case I'm not selling it to other private parties. So the dealerships are my buyer. Okay, so now I need to go find out what do you guys even wanna buy? So I spent some time uh, during another weekend, probably the following weekend, and I went around to like maybe eight different dealerships and I'm just saying, hey, what would you require for me to sell you a car? Like, what do you need? Like, does the car have to have so many miles on it? Does it have to be such and such condition? Does it need to be the model that you represent? Let's say if I'm at a Ford dealership, does it need to be a Ford or Honda for Honda? So on and so forth. So I go around to a couple of dealerships and then they tell me, hey, instead of competing with the dealership, why don't you just work at the dealership? And I was like, well, what do you mean competing? I'm not competing with the dealership. And they said, Brent, you're literally trying to buy and sell cars, which is what we do every single day. And so I was like, ah, I didn't think of it that way. I guess I am competing. Well, what would it take to work at a dealership? And then the sales professional simply responded, a pulse, <laughs> which is like, I guess any, I mean, you could just get into a dealership and it's relatively easy, low barrier of entry uh, with a, a, a couple of exceptions here and there, but you know, won't bore you with all those details. I went, I met with the general manager of the store and he let me know that, hey, I couldn't do this on a part-time basis, which is what I intended on doing because I was actually having a good month at Robert Half. I think my best month to date, I was having at Robert Half and um, I was doing very well, very happy with my job. Wasn't looking to leave, but was open to selling cars on the weekend. But he said, it's not something you can do on the weekend. This is a full immersion uh, type of business. So you gotta be all in or it just wouldn't work. So um, after some consideration, talking with my wife, Kiosha, I decided, hey, it sounds like a lot of fun to sell cars. And I just took a leap of faith. I was having a good month in an industry that I became familiar with in recruiting and everything was going well. But again, I took this leap of faith and I went to go work with Lexus. And uh, fortunately, I've been doing pretty well because I have a, a strong level of commitment and I definitely see things through. So um, as I started working with Lexus, picking up their systems and what it takes to be successful there and how can I generate traffic and kind of figure out how to create success in this new space um, in June of 2021. So I started in March, in June of 2021, I was actually the uh, sales professional of the month at my dealership, which is pretty awesome because who knew it would be such a quick turnaround, but that's the kind of stick to itness and like the go-getter attitude that I had and uh, definitely made it happen. And so now we're just trying to press forward and can, can do a little bit more or do better than that.